Hi, and welcome to this next video from Year 2 Differentiation. And what we're going to do is move on uh, from the last video on chain rule and look at a really simple and really useful little result. This is probably going to be about one of the shortest videos going because it's just a quickie uh, based on what we're seeing on here, this 1 over dy dx. So let's have a look at this. There's no unused result dx dy. Notice that one's dx dy. That's upside down compared to what we normally see is 1 over dy dx. Essentially reciprocal. Let's just have a quick look at what's going on. So we know that dy dx times by dx dy because of the cancelling uh, would just kind of multiply out to equal 1. And then we just rearrange that to make it say dx dy equals and we end up with 1 over dy dx. Now that seems a possibly little bit pointless at first glance but it's actually really useful because you're often going to get equations that are not necessarily written in the form y equals. So let's have a look at an example of where you might use it. So we've got this one here. It says the equation of tangent. We've got uh, an equation that is set up as x equals. So it's the x coordinate in terms of the y coordinate. Of course, rearrange, I mean, it's doable to rearrange that to get it to say y equals, but it's a pain, but we can deal with it when it's this way around. So what we're going to be doing is initially differentiating. And what we're going to do is differentiate x with respect to y, which is dx dy, not our usual y with respect to x, which would be dy dx. So... We've got that, so dx dy would equal, again, standard, bring the power to the front, take one off the power, that gives us 3y to the power half, and again on this one, being very careful with the power half, that becomes minus half now. So now we've got dx dy, and we've got an expression for it, so we can work out that essentially the change in x over change in y, given the y coordinate. So we need to put the y coordinate into here. So... What we're going to do at 10, 9, dx dy, the y coordinate is a value of 9. So that's what we're going to put in because I'd say it's in terms of y. And so we've got dx dy has a value of 7. Now, if we want the equation of the tangent, clearly the gradient of that tangent is clearly going to be dy dx, change in y over change in x. So that hasn't changed. So what we need to do now, this is where we're using our result dx dy equals 1 over dy dx. And the same the other way around, uh, dy dx is 1 over dx dy. So, essentially, that means that dy dx is going to be 1 seventh. And now we've got that. We've got the gradient of our line. We've got um, the point that it goes through. So, y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. And there you go. There's the equation of the tangent that we were looking for. And there it is. Job done.